YouTube, what's good, man? It's your boy Darren, the Bowtie Fragrance Guy. We talk about fashion and fragrance on this channel as well. So if you're into fashion and fragrance, make sure you hit subscribe and make sure you hit the bell icon as well. So that way, anytime I upload a new video on this channel, you'll be one of the first people to get notified. Just like my man, Jeremy. Jeremy, I see you, my man. When I upload a video, Jeremy is always one of the first people to comment uh, on my video. Um, so I just want to send a shout out to you, man, because I sincerely appreciate everybody as a part of the notification squad. So on today's video, man, if you're looking for a great signature scent, one that you can wear, as I like to say, anytime, any place, anywhere, this is going to be the video for you. These are some signature scents that offer a lot of versatility that in my humble opinion, you'll be very glad that you added these fragrances to your collection and you'll never regret buying these fragrances. In my humble opinion, they are that good. So I'm going to run the intro and I have 10 fragrances that I want to talk to you guys about today. So if you want to see what's on the list, if you're looking for a great signature scent, then you know the routine. Keep it locked right here. I die. The Bowtie Fragrance Guy. All right, guys, we're back. Thank you so much for keeping it locked in. We're going to jump into this video. But before we do that, I would be remiss if I did not say that right now, I must say your boy is my clean. All right? I, I just got to say it. Can you guys see the... Ooh! <laughs> Gots to be more careful. So anyway, let's go ahead and jump right into these signature scents. The first one is from the brand of Mind Games. Oh man, guys, I've been talking about this brand. I have a discount code. Um, I'll make sure I flash it across the screen and I have it down in the description. If you ever want to purchase anything from Mind Games, you'll at least get a discount on it. But this one, oh my gosh, guys, this one is called Blockade. Now I know you, I've been showing you guys a lot of the fragrances in the black bottles, but there are some great ones in the clear or white bottles as well. You got some mango in this, bergamot, lavender, suede. Oh, man. Somehow this kind of, although the notes don't really indicate that, this does, this fragrance will kind of put you in the mindset of a Creed of Vintage type of DNA, but it does have some differences. This is a warmer fragrance, a little bit more of a clean fragrance. Again, uh, C lavender, C suede, but it smells phenomenal. When I talk about a fragrance that's versatile, I talk about a fragrance that's a signature scent, it's not really restricted to season. You can wear it any time of the year and it's going to fit pretty much any scenario and it's going to fit. And this one smells, seriously guys, this smells, you gotta get your nose on it. You gotta get your nose on this. There's a few from this brand that I highly recommend you sample. I think they do have a discovery set. So get the discovery set. I'm pretty sure you'll find a lot of fragrances in there that uh, you find to your or to your liking. But anyway, check this one out, guys. I really enjoy this fragrance as a signature scent from Mind Games. Again, this one is called Blockade. The next fragrance up on the list is one that I have talked about several times. Uh, I haven't talked about this one as much here recently, but still one of my favorites, especially my favorite from this brand. From the brand of Byredo, this is Balda Freak. Balda Freak transcends seasons, transcends reasons and occasions. Lemon, Tagets, uh, African orange flower, which is really orange blossom, and vetiver are the main notes here. What I am finding here as of late, guys, is that I really love orange blossom, all right? Orange blossom, neroli, and um, can't think of the last one. They all come from the same tree, all right? But the orange blossom to me gives a kind of a creamy nuance, all right? And I really love orange blossom, or as they call it here, African orange flower. And it's just, oh man, it, it meshes so well with that vetiver note, all right? And this is not that super earthy uh, vetiver that you, that you uh, are accustomed to smelling in some fragrances. This is a little bit more of a, with that, uh, African orange flower and those other floors a little bit more of a fresher fragrance. So it helps to keep that better from going too much in that earthy direction. 
which is a turnoff for some people. But anyway, we've got amazing signature scent. Oh man, I gotta smell this stuff. It's so fantastic. From the brand of Byredo. Guys, make sure you get your nose on this one. It's bald or free. And this next fragrance actually comes from the brand of Electimus, and this is called Vixir. This is called Vixir. You get some mandarin in here, some orange blossom, iris, violet, vanilla, tonka bean, and sandalwood. This is so good. It's so good. It smells so close to Valiant from Bodicea de Victoria's, which is a $1,200 fragrance. So you can actually get this fragrance and really get a very almost you know, exact fragrance DNA for a fraction of the cost. You can probably find Big Sear at discounters for around 160, 170 bucks. And I'm telling you, in my humble opinion, it is well worth it because of the versatility of it, the way it's composed, and the way this is constructed. You can wear this, you know, anytime, any time of the year, and any occasion, and it's going to work. And that's kind of the theme of the list, of course. So. This is one I highly recommend you guys check out from the brand of Electimus. Again, this is called Vixir. All right, this next fragrance up actually comes from the brand of Juicebox. And I love talking about it because it's really easy to describe. This is Cheeky Smile. This is Cheeky Smile. And again, this is ISOE Super and Ambroxan. Again, I, I, it smells, uh, it reminds me of Baccarat Rouge 540. And it reminds me of Molecule One. Now, sure, I have both of those fragrances. I could just spray them together and layer them. But why do that when I can just spray this and get the same effect? Um, outside of those notes, there's a little bit of this warm, almost sweetness as well that comes in from cashmere as it starts to dry down. But this is a phenomenal signature scent. Highly complimented, all those good things. So if you haven't sampled this fragrance yet, Make sure you put your nose on this one from the brand of Juice Box. This is called Cheeky Smile. All right, this next fragrance is um, not really talked about as much from the brand of Mason Francis Kirk John, but it's actually one of my favorites from the brand. This is called Masculine Pluriel. Oh my gosh, guys, you talk about a signature scent. This is a signature scent in a bottle. Lavender, vetiver, patchouli, cedarwood, some of the main notes in this. And I love lavender, guys. I really love lavender. It really gives that clean masculine feel to fragrances. Obviously you find it in fougeres. That's why this DNA for me really hints at a nice clean fougere. And especially when you are dressed as I am today, as I always say, nothing pairs better than a Shepra or a fougere. I introduce you to this fragrance from the brand of MFK, Maison Francis Kirkton. This is called Masculine Pluriel. All right, guys, and next up, definitely one of the most underrated fragrances from the brand of Creed. I haven't talked about this fragrance in a long time, but when I really start talking about signature scents, although there are a lot of fragrances from the brand of Creed that could fit the description, this is one of the most underrated ones, and it's, uh, it's so absolutely fantastic when you smell it. This is said to be Michael Jordan's signature scent at one point in time. This is called Creed Himalaya. Definitely love the bottle. Love the metallic feel, um, color of the bottle, uh, made to resemble a, um, I think like a canteen or something like that. Uh, anyway, very, very nice fragrance. I love the opening. You get this beautiful note of like this lemon and grapefruit in the opening. It's really creamy. Uh, you get a beautiful, creamy, sweet sandalwood note, um, as it starts to dry down again. This is a phenomenal signature scent. Like I said, if it's good enough for Michael Jordan to wear, which is his rumored again to be his signature scent, it's definitely uh, good enough for me to wear. Um, again, I can't say enough good things about this fragrance. It's so easy to wear, um, so inviting and so appealing, so inoffensive. I can't really think of any scenario that you could not wear this in or a scenario that you would wear it in and it would offend anybody. It's just one of those very pleasant scent DNAs. Love this stuff. A lot of musk on the dry down as well. But you guys need to get your nose on it. From the brand of Creed, if you have not smelled it, I think it's when you need to get your nose on this. It's called Himalaya. All right, guys. This next fragrance is from the brand of Amwaj, and it's a fragrance that I have ranted and raved about for a long time. This one is called Dia Man. Dia Man. Love this fragrance. All the things I've said about most of the fragrances on this list, this definitely applies. Peony flowers, 
you get plum and vetiver. Those are really the main notes to my nose. And you guys know, or you probably know at least that I really, really love the note of plum. Really enjoy that note. Um, love the vetiver here. Again, peony flowers, not a fragrance note you find oftentimes in men's fragrances, but here it works. It works, it works, it works. You guys, you guys just got to put your nose on it and see what I'm referring to. One of the more underrated uh, fragrances from the brand of Amwage, because a lot of people don't feel like it's Amwage like, quote unquote, but I love this stuff. This is Dia, man. All right, this next fragrance strongly resembles um, one of my favorite fragrances of all time, which is Original Santal from Creed. And this one is called Darley from Parfums de Marley. This is Darley. You have mint, lavender, cinnamon, tonka beans, sandalwood. Oh my gosh, this smells good. It's so close to uh, Original Santal. Um, I wear it sometimes, you know, my bottle of Original Santal is about halfway gone. And this is a great substitute for it. Again, it's not 100% the same DNA, but it's very, 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 very close to Original Santal. And if you've been around me for any amount of time, especially my earlier days reviewing fragrances on YouTube, um, that fragrance has a special place in my heart. And obviously, a fragrance that smells so close to it, that has really done well uh, with really uh, quality ingredients in the whole line gotta love this stuff it's definitely a versatile fragrance it's definitely one of those scent dna's that you can wear any place you can wear any time any season and it's going to smell great so very underrated as well this is you know i didn't really notice this but a lot of these fragrances aren't really talked about as much from a lot of these more uh popular niche fragrance brands but this one is really good guys uh if you can't get your nose on this one from parfums de marley again this is called darley wow that rhymes anyway this next fragrance, oh my gosh, it comes from the brand of Bond Number no. 9, and this one is called Riverside Drive. I am so glad that they bought this fragrance back. It was uh, discontinued. They brought it back. Pineapple, basil, oak moss, sandalwood, some of the, uh, some of the main notes in this. This is so good. That pineapple basil opening is just something that your nose has to experience at least once this is so good man guys you got to get your nose on this like i said i know it was discontinued i think they brought this back out with a few other fragrances uh one being new harlem which i was you know um, fortunate enough to get my hands on a, a older bottle of new harlem so i already had that one or i would have definitely added that one as well but this is one i slept on for a minute and when i Smelled it when I was in Neiman Marcus and I put it on my skin. Immediately, I said, put that in the pack. Had to have it. Love this stuff. This is so good as a signature scent, guys. Especially if you're a guy that dresses up. There's something that is kind of sophisticated about this fragrance. It's really in a weird way hard for me to explain. But trust me when I tell you that it's a phenomenal scent. So check it out from the brand of Bond Number 9. This is Riverside Drive. All right, guys. And last but not least... I have talked about this fragrance several times, although there's been several other fragrances from this brand over the past month or so that's gotten more attention than this one. Please don't sleep on it. From the brand of Louis Vuitton, this is Lamasite. This is Lamasite. You're going to get some ginger, sage, geranium, and broxen. A little bit of a kind of sweet, ambery feel on the dry down as well. But again, you talk about signature scent, you talk about versatility. You talk about a fragrance that you'll have in your collection that you'll never regret at, that you've added it to your collection. This is one of those fragrances. Like I said, as of late here, I've talked about Imagination a lot, Meteore, um, Pacific Chill. They're all kind of in the same category. I could have used any of those fragrances on a list like this and it would work. They are signature scent worthy. They smell phenomenal. Most people you come into contact with or that I've come into contact with, I'm going to speak for myself, have thought that these fragrances smell really good. They get compliments, all those good things. Just a great fragrance. Just really easy to wear, really versatile. Again, I don't think there's many people that you'll come into contact with that will not like the way that you smell if you're wearing this fragrance right here. So check it out from the brand of Louis Vuitton. This is called Le Monsite. But that is it, guys. That is my time. I hope you enjoyed this video today. As always, I sincerely appreciate you guys' time and attention to these videos. I know you don't have to watch, but you do. And I sincerely appreciate that. 
Now, don't forget to make sure you take out a few moments to like, comment, and subscribe. And make sure you are sharing these videos out to some other folks out there that you think could use the information or find it entertaining. Because I'm your guy, Darren. I'm the Bull Tie Fragrance Guy. I love to look good. And of course, I love to smell amazing. So until next time, guys, keep looking good. Keep smelling even better. I'll catch you on the flip side. Peace.